has brought you several stories of child abuse happening at unlicensed daycares in the capital city. Tonight, we introduce you to the Ballesteros family, whose two-year-old daughter, Addison, was injured under the care of someone the family trusted. The Ballesteros starting, started sending then 18-month-old Addison and their now three-year-old son, Bo, to a daycare so their mother, Samantha, could return to work. That was in February, and by the end of March, Addison came home with bruises. When Felix Ballesteros went to pick up the kids one afternoon, he said he found Addison in a dimly lit basement and could see some bruising on her face. She says the sitter told him a toy fell on her. Uh, it was only when I took her outside and saw her in the light that I saw there was quite a bit of bruising on her forehead and on the side of her face. Um, and her ears. <laughs> they took Addison to the hospital immediately. Police were called and a report was filed. However, the case has since been dropped due to the fact that it took social services a month to get out to visit the home. Tonight at 10, we'll dive deeper into their story and explain just how little social services can help families working with unlicensed daycares.